Shabbat Shalom Mavorach, Beshem Hashem Naseh Nasiach. This week is Parshat Vayechi, and we learn in Shishi that Yaakov blesses all his 12 children. And it says, this is the blessing, he blessed each one according to his blessing. Rashi says, the blessing was exactly that in the future, this is what their potential would hold. So the question here is, um, today we're basing it, our Dvar Torah and Rav Volbe and Rabbi Yerucham Levavitz. The question is, is that if Yaakov was blessing his children, why the first three does he seemingly curse them? Reuven, he says, you're thoughtless and angry person. You, you don't think through your actions. And therefore, he stripped him of the three glorious titles that he was destined to get. Kingdom the power of royalty, firstborn right, which he gave to Yosef's two children, Ephraim and Manasseh, and also because he was too rushy, and also he took away the priesthood, the kehuna, and gave it to who? He gave it to Levi. Shimon and Levi, he curses their anger. I don't understand. If this is a blessing, then why start off with a curse? So from here we see the fascinating idea of Musar. First of all, Volbe brings in Ali Shor, page Kufmem, hey, from the, uh, his Rebbe, the Mashkiach of the Mir, Rabbi Rucham Levavitz Atzal, that the... Um, there's an amazing idea. Obviously, Yehuda and Yosef he gave awesome blessings to and the rest of the children. There's a fascinating idea here that God blesses each person with a natural quality. There are some people that are they have a heart of gold. Other people, like Yehuda, they're great leaders and they're willing to always admit their fault and there's other people like Yosef that are perfectionists in spirituality and always have ultimate self-control. What a blessing is, is that Yaakov is teaching us that for some people, you need to point out to your children and your loved ones their amazing, amazing, unique gift that God gave them, that special color in the rainbow for them to brighten up the world which no other person has and they have to bring out their potential what a blessing is to bring out their potential and you have Rav Yerucham says such a important idea that he says every person has a special natural glorious and marvelous good 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 wholesome characteristic if they're able to preserve that and develop that through the Torah and the wholesome parents and wholesome Rebbeim then this will override their whole personality and soul and body and make them outstanding servants of Hashem by the same token some people, their whole reason of creation is they have one dangerous fault that if they don't take care of this characteristic flaw, it's going to do what? It's going to totally destroy their whole potential and destroy all the good gifts that God gave to them. So this is what Yaakov is teaching us, that... Sometimes it may seem on the surface Yaakov was cursing his f three oldest children, Reuven, Shimon, Levi. But to the contrary, this is a fascinating insight into what blessing is. Blessing is to help the person become perfect, become the best he could be. Some people, our goal in life is to improve. 
That's why the Shlach HaKadosh parenthetically says, Shma Beni Musar Avicha Ve'al Titosh Torah Timecha. First of all, Chul Shlomo HaMelech teaches us that a person should always listen to the reproof and Musar, refinement and guidance of his father that is God-fearing because it's so important that people give, tell their children, hey, listen, you're really acting like a big shot, like a Balgaiva, like full of vanity, full of anger, full of thoughtlessness. Like, you know, Ruvain, he just rushed, rushed and didn't calculate the his actions because if the parent doesn't remind the kid to be truthful and have good characteristics, it's very hard to find anyone else that would polish this diamond in the rough. Rav Yerucham says a lot of important ideas here of how what a blessing is. The ultimate blessing is that a person should overcome his number one character deficiency. That's why Yaakov told Reuven, I'm blessing you. I'm telling you, if you want to be blessed, you have to have thoughtfulness and don't rush. Because you did this, I'm going to take away all three of your crowns. But in the future, if you are careful and mindful of the pitfalls in your character, then ultimately we're all here to grow. And that's the same thing. Yaakov is telling Shimon and Levi, listen, the greatest blessing for you is you were almost going to, they were about to kill Yosef. They killed the whole city through their anger. If you don't have self-control and patience, you're going to destroy your whole potential. But another very important thing is we have to know the good attribute is different than the bad attribute. The good attribute is part of our neshama. It's part of our godliness. And that's why the true good parent is going to give self-confidence to the child to say, yeah, you have a heart of gold, so be a giver. Go make sedaka, go create gemach, go create free loan societies, go create so much loving kindness in the world. But Yaakov teaches us another very important lesson, that if a child is angry, we should know that's just, that's not part and parcel of his soul. That's just, that's not really part of the diamond. Those are the rough edges, the tests that Hashem is giving this person. That's why when Yaakov curses uh, Shimon and Levi, he doesn't curse their personality. He says, Arur Apam. Curse should be what? their anger you're not your soul is a spark of god which is holy and patient and wholesome this anger should be cursed but not you yourself when a child it always becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy if god forbid we tell the child you're such a bad boy no we always have to let the child know that this is just their test in life and it's the greatest blessing for them to overcome this test. And a true friend is the one that not always is being a cheerleader and saying everything you do is holy. If you're doing something self-destructive, Yaakov had to start off his blessings with telling his three oldest children that if they don't bring their anger and thoughtlessness and rushing without calculating the ramifications of their actions, they're never going to be able to bring out their potential. So this is a mind-boggling thing. And Rabbi Rucham says that even if a person has, it's like a jewelry box filled with all the greatest silver and jewels in the world. And there's a rotten apple there. So a person, even if he does have big challenges in ca character deficiency, like Midot Raot, he should never become depressed. Because the Yaakov teaching us the ultimate thing, that the, since that not, that's not part and parcel of your soul, if you, it's harder to change it than learning all of Shas. That's true, Rabbi Yisrael Salanter says. But it could be uprooted with prayer and caring and learning Musar. But on the other hand, the glorious thing that Yaakov is saying is, is that 
we parents, especially in today's day and age, we have to be more positive because only happiness brings people's potential out in our modern times through positive reinforcement. Rav Yerucham says another thing. He says if you're able to perfect that one powerful and special unique talent and gold shining midah that you have. For example, if somebody is really, really a caring person, if he really, really brings out the caringness through learning Torah and Musar, that could overwhelm and help him fix all his other character deficiencies, that shining light will take away and eradicate the darkness of his bad midot. So may Hashem help us to realize. It's Shlomo HaMelech says, Hachsek be Musar. Always grab on to Musar, self-improvement. Al teref netzareha Don't neglect its greatness because it's your life. A person is always going to become reincarnated. In the end of the day, we have to learn Torah, know God, and do the mitzvot. But we also have to do character refinement. And that's what Yaakov is teaching us. And that's the greatest gift a parent could give his child. On one hand, to tell him his beautiful quality, how special his soul is. But a parent that really cares always has to point out, like Yaakov did to Reuven, Shimon, and Levi, that rushing and thoughtlessness and anger could also destroy your whole potential. So sometimes a curse is a blessing in disguise. And Yaakov is teaching us that. Have a wonderful Shabbat. And may this Shabbat bring a year full of blessing to all of us. Amen.